Good morning, dear hearts. Uh, we are at lesson 293. Uh, our new special thought is what is the real world? And if you have not yet done so, please subscribe. Today's lesson is all fear is past and only love is here, which really is a description of what is the real world because the real world cannot be perceived through eyes, except through eyes that forgiveness blesses. So all fear is gone when forgiveness has been accomplished. And what is the real world also says that the real world is a symbol that the dream of sin and guilt is over and God's son no longer sleeps. That is, and, and when we have awoken from the dreams, the bad dreams, the nightmares, that which has been filled with our past mistakes and with, with fear and terror, now it's gone, the fear is gone and only love is here. Only the light, the beauty, the truth, the forgiven world will appear to me. The lesson starts and it says all fear is past because its source is gone and all the thoughts gone with it. What is the source of the, the past? It is the unforgiveness and it is the ego that continually tries to push the past on me with all of the unforgiven thoughts that I would feel guilty and ashamed. So when the fear is gone, the ego is gone. Remember the ego, the, it's a lovely line in the text that says, you know, all we really need to do is lay the ego down, lay it aside. It, it isn't a grand battle that we have to go through in order to move out of the ego mind. We simply lay it down and stop believing in it. And when we stop believing in the ego, all fear is past and only love is here. The uh, lesson goes on to say, love remains the only present state whose source is here forever and forever, whose source, and it's capitalized, which is God. God is here forever and forever. Love is here forever and forever. And can the world seem bright and clear and safe and welcoming with all my past mistakes oppressing it and showing me distorted forms of fear? Yet, in the present, in this now moment, love is obvious and its effects apparent, and all the world shines in reflection of its holy light, and I perceive a world forgiven at last. The world forgiven at last is the real world. This lesson concludes with a prayer. The prayer is the second part, and it says, Father, let not your holy world escape my sight today. Let me see this real world. Let me see this world that is has forgiveness placed upon it. Nor let my ears be deaf to the hymns, I love this, the hymns of gratitude. The world is singing underneath the sounds of fear. Remember always that that ego voice speaks first and loudest, but below that sink, below the fear. And what do we find? We find hymns of gratitude. We hear the words of the Holy Spirit. We hear the words of love being given and offered to us. We find the Holy Spirit there ready to embrace us and lead us away from the past, the fear. There is a real world which the present holds safe from all past mistakes. And I would see only this world before my eyes today. I'm choosing to see the real world, no past mistakes today, only what is filled with light and filled with love and has none of the ego's shadow being laid upon it to try to cast out the light. The light is so much stronger than the darkness. We know that. Um, that's it for today. Please like, please share, please subscribe, and please be here tomorrow. Um, kind of a favorite lesson tomorrow. Let's see what it is. Uh, namaste.